Hey, everyone. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you can hear me uh, talking here today. Uh, my cameras, uh, everything's been crazy with settings. Hey, Ileana. Hey, Aurora. Kat, good morning. Phoenix, uh, good morning. John, Aura is here. Aura, you, uh, you guys not getting sick of me yet? This is getting crazy. <laughs> uh, let me lower the volume here. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is my fifth live class of the week, and uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm. this thing's going to be glued to my face sooner or later. I'm not complaining, not complaining. It is a very, very... Cl okay, awesome. Hey, Shelby, uh, you're not sick of me yet, Shelby? <sighs> okay, well, your drawings in the, in the Zoom class, class have been awesome. Uh, Nicole from Germany. Uh, Sandy, I saw your uh, first uh, message about the camera. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Zoran, uh, welcome. Willow, Paula, all kinds of Melvin, Phoenix, uh, Doug. Well, soon. soon. <laughs> uh, Maria is here. Philip is here. Roan. All right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Neil is here. Neil joined us at the Zoom class as well. You got it, Shelby. Yeah, those drawings were really cool. Um, Yarrow Slaw, that's a cool name. Love that. So today's class, you know, again, like I, I have my, I didn't fulfill, I'm going to be honest with you all. I did not feel, fulfill my commitment to plan. Hey, Michelle, planning out a, um, lesson package for the live streams. And once Friday night rolls along, Marie Petito, welcome. Um, good to see you here. Uh, once Friday night rolls around, I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing a live stream tomorrow morning. What in God's name am I going to draw? Welcome, Dennis. And so I'm still kind of winging the live streams. My classes, that's a different story. Like I took two and a half days to write out a full class on SVA's, the School of Visual Arts Canvas website. But with the live streams, I'm kind of just waking up on Saturday morning and scrambling to find something that I'm interested in drawing. So I, I really need to stop doing that, and uh, I really need to start planning this out a little bit more. I think that'd be really uh, better than just waking up in the morning and winging this. So with that said, what do you see on your monitor? Let me just grab a pencil here. Um, what we see here is this, uh, I, I worked on this drawing, truth be told, for about 30 minutes after the live stream last week. Okay, welcome David, Sabi, welcome. Uh, Masiek or Machek, you got it. Um, thank you, Kat, I really do appreciate that pair character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I only, we didn't have any creamer. I, I love creamer in the coffee and uh, all the flavored kinds, and there was none left this morning. So, yeah, we're going to see, you're going to see me like really struggle today. It's going to be a lot of fun. John uh, for Femiani, I should know how to say your name, John. I'm Italian. Uh, just two days to set up a full class on Canvas. Well, well, truth Truth be told, that's the third time I've said truth be told. Why am I, why am I saying that? Um, I've been doing this for well over 20 years. So, it, yeah, it's the writing part. That, that's brutal. I'm not a writer. Uh, thank you, Kat. I really do appreciate you. Uh, all right. So this statue piece, I worked on it. This German kind of castle cottage thing. Worked on it for about a half an hour after the live stream last week, I filmed it, and um, I still haven't posted it to the website because this week was a crazy first week of college. Uh, Moises, welcome. And uh, so I just want to share that with you. Now, l l let's get started, because if you just hear me say, welcome, 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 you're going to check out on me and get really bored. So again, I'm just working on the, on the, on, where's my pad? Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. So the toned gray, all right. And I just found this statue um, this morning on Pinterest. And uh, hey, Dawn. Um, and so let's do it. Let's do it. I put that little piece of tape there so the camera can focus. Now, uh, the title of today's live stream, uh, Carla, welcome, is Rhythm. So with this particular drawing, what I'll do is I'll start. So the, the first thing I, I need to do is, is I, I totally need to figure out how am I going to fit this thing on, onto this uh, board here. Now, if I take my trusty old-fashioned 1970s ruler here, um, and we hold the ruler straight up and down on my 
board, see how it's crooked. Okay, so this drawing is, is kind of small for me. I, I don't like drawing the figure this small. So let's just say if I lift it all the way up, it's nine inches. That's kind of tiny, but we're gonna do it, okay? For rhythm, for rhythm, I wanna, I wanna use double that. I wanna use uh, an 18 by 24 inch pad, and I wanna draw the figure at least 15 inches tall, okay? But it's video, and it's not the classroom, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, say, say my welcome, Misty Cult, welcome. All right, so with that said, uh, first strokes, what you wanna do here, so let's, let's get the jitters out. So jitters out would be a little bit of scribbling and scribble, 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 scribble. Let's just kind of do some rhythm lines. And now let's just um, roll in to her shoulders. Okay, so I'm gonna just go like that. I'm pressing down very light. Okay, so now what I can do is I, I could um, come on down the chest and then I can hear my dog. My uh, Truffles is not in, in my office today, but they're outside in the hallway. They're really fighting uh, and they're going crazy. I don't know, I think they went out in the rain and they're like all hyper. So chest, side of the rib cage into the fabric. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come on into her hip and her hip. Now immediately I take a quick little measurement what is right up above the hip. And it's kind of equal with the breast. It's a little bit to the right of the breast. Uh, so let's, this is a little bit more straight, not too curvy, but we're going to curve it. I would have liked to have done a better line there and now rhythm all the way down. So I'm looking and I'm going to probably lift my paper up after I do this because, um, when I rhythm this down, okay, that feels short to me compared to that. I kind of drew that tall. So let's just take the paper. And so I don't have to redraw this whole thing because I, 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 you see, this is what you need to do. People ask me this, Sorabai, welcome. Truffs is doing good. She's out in the hallway. She's running around. I don't know if she's going to visit with us today. <laughs> David M., uh, happy Saturday. So it's sometimes when you're doing a gesture drawing of the figure in class on, on, on a piece of paper, uh, where else would you do it? Um, you, I like to start with the shoulders because I look at the shoulder tops and I'm like, do I have enough room for the head? Yeah, absolutely. Her head is tiny. Her face is super duper tiny compared to the length of her body. So that's just a quick little target. Now I'm going to lift this up because I really want to do long legs. Okay, so now that's kind of level. So again, my drawing is going to be crooked. Okay, now I'm going to, at risk of screwing everything up, shut off that monitor. Okay, perfect. Because I'm drawing on my Cintiq screen and it's on and uh, it's hot and it starts to buckle the paper. Okay, cool. So now I've got a rhythm start in here. I'm just looking at some of these comments. Emily, uh, Sa Saja, I hope I didn't, I probably ruined your name, I apologize. Akbar, that's cool, I like that. Um, all right, so now let's do this. Um, let's do it again. Now I lost my flat point on the pencil. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And let's roll in and come in once again now and start over and rhythm down all the way to where the fabric kind of falls on the, gr on the marble ground. And so I immediately want to just look from top to bottom. So foot, I'm gonna suggest it, foot is right up above from the head. Now, that's my rhythm line and you have to think about uh, it, one could call it like a line of action. Now, I have this scrap piece of paper here, okay, that I just, these were my first sketches of the, of the morning, just kind of mucking around here. And so if I was going to be a little bit more aggressive, this, and I, it was like a gesture drawing class, that would be rhythm, this would be rhythm, and I'd go all the way down. So it would be one, two, three, all the way down. So that's our line of action. Okay, now this is more of an aggressive way to draw. This is more of a, let's just draw and let's just slow down. And there's really not too much rhythm going on over here. It's just we're taking our time and we're drawing with line, okay? So if I move that aside, let's get back to this thing. So now uh, we don't wanna get stuck in one area, but I like to um, establish home base. So I, I'm looking at where her neck is. Okay, find that flat spot of the pencil and come on down to the breast once again. I, uh, every drawing that you do should have a home base 
and a home base is just, I, I consider it a place that looks easy to draw. And I always go back to that home base and I try to make sure that I've got the home base correct. So now I'm gonna come back over here, just reestablish that. I'm looking at the distance between the bottom of the breast and the top of her hip. And then we can come back into the shoulders. Her shoulders could be a little bit lower, this little deltoid over here. Now let's just flow in the hair, just for starters. Let's just flow it in. She really has um, a very small head compared to her body. Now notice how light I'm doing that. I'm not going uh, dark with it at all. Uh, that's my target. People, uh, someone asked me last week, um, tall lady, seven and a half heads, absolutely. Hey, Ace, Emily, welcome. Uh, tall, yeah. Is this a three value study? So no, right now, well, yeah, technically the photo is. It's three values. Um, I found the photo on the internet. It was color. I made it black and white. I got rid of all the stuff in the background. I painted on top of it in Photoshop, just kind of make it my own a little bit. Uh, now let's gesture down this arm. So let's just gesture down. Okay, this other arm, you can see my pencil is very soft and flat right now. So we're just gonna suggest that. Now let's take a pause and look at where the breast is. Where does this hip start? So let's look at the width. She's pretty thin. So now we're going to just um, put a line in the sand right there and say that's where her hip starts and we're going to flow down. Now we can also flow down with gesture and movement this way. So we're going to go all the way down here. So that's a long line. So sometimes it's really super duper important to draw just the, uh, so I, I think I have like three shapes. So we have the shape of the chest area, the shape of the leg hip area, and the shape of the head. So now what you do is you lean back, okay? Um, yeah, you lean back, hey Mecca Art, and you look at it from far away, and uh, it's okay. So now we need to start over again. I'm gonna resharpen my pencil, okay? Um, you know, normally, uh, this is gonna sound so silly, and I can't believe I'm sharing this with you. This is like too much information. But when I wake up in the morning some days, like I just have like a sneezing attack because of allergies. And today, I, this is too long. I, I didn't have a sneezing attack, but I just hope I do not start see, sneezing on this live stream because my sinuses are like a brick today. Um, all right, so too much information on the live stream, right? <laughs> uh, I, okay, so let's come on down here. And let's do this again. Now that pencil's a little too sharp because I just broke the edge. And let's come down here again. And so I, I really just wanna every single time go over this and refine it a little bit more. So we have this fabric. Now I, I, I don't really care if I go a little bit longer with the legs. I kinda like that. And you guys know I've repeated myself multiple times. So long fold, I'd rather do long legs than short legs any day of the week. Uh, now I'm going to just kind of cruise over. I'm just looking at some of these. Um, okay, uh, I like to take the measurements first, how many heads are in the body. I know the second head should be at the breast level. Yeah, you can do that. Um, looking for photo reference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean I've got tons and um, Masiak or uh, Machiak. I have tons and tons of photo references of nudes. YouTube does not like nudes, okay? Um, they just, they don't like it, and I, I can't put anything on the thumbnails of the video. Uh, I just get random emails from uh, YouTube, like deleting my um, thumbnails where there's any nudity involved, and it kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, that's why I chose this figure too. I mean, I, I appreciate that. So what you're saying here is if we're, if you were looking for photo reference, shoot fine art nude, would be happy to share a couple of them. That would be awesome. I would really do appreciate that. Everything now is non nude. So all the classes that I'm doing, um, that's the problem. I have so much nude photography that I've taken for my website, drawing tutorials online that I don't have really much in the ways of clothes photography because um, you know I teach figure drawing, so I, I need the reference. But now with Zoom, we're not allowed to do nudity uh, for m a multitude of reasons with the model, and so I, I'm kind of caught uh, without many photos with uh, clothing. So that's my rhythm, okay? And uh, yes, thank you. Uh, Magdalena, hello Magdalena. I like that little um, photo that you have there of the drawing, that's really cool. 
Now let's rhythm out the hair. So her head, her face is very short. I'm gonna just get this little line in. And I'm, I'm really being a little timid with this right now. I, I need to draw a little faster, okay? Because I'm going to put you all asleep if I don't draw much faster than this. So let's get in her to her face, okay? Look at her face. Where is it in relationship to her foot? The shape of her face is super tiny. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm And now the shoulder tilts down slightly. Okay, let's get that in. So I'm starting to build up the tone. I'm gonna add white charcoal to this. This is toned gray pa paper. I think the white charcoal is gonna be beautiful. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Andre, uh, welcome from Montreal. I like to draw it fast and use the measurements to check my eye, yep. Um, what about tight clothing? Yeah, so the models when they pose, uh, at, at, you know, when I do the Zoom class for the uh, drawing tutorials online members, um, the model kind of wears uh, sport shorts, like if they were doing yoga or something like that, um, and that works. So let's kick this arm out a touch. Okay, let's kind of. Um, all right, so let's take let's assess where we're at right now. So I think what we need to do is we need to establish top of the head. Establish top of the head. Okay, this is very different than drawing the German castle cottage thing. Okay, now let's just suggest a couple of angles for the hand. Is that too low? Maybe, but that's my target. Curse is late again. Hey, David. Um, tight clothing, yeah, absolutely. Um, Annie Cat? Uh, yeah, oh, three hours of sleep. Okay, hey, Dana. Big screen. Oh, I hope it's in focus. I've been pricing out uh, 4K cameras. Uh, the, the issue is, uh, Nigel, thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. Uh, the issue with the 4K is, um, yeah, is that 4K going to come through in a stream? And is it going to be worth it for me to invest in that? Uh, but on the big screen, uh, how does it look, Dana? Is it in focus? Uh, does it look pixelated? I'm just doing a normal stream latency right now. Okay, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm okay with where we're at. I, I think that her head is smaller. So if I come on in here, now I can start to press down harder. So now let's do some stuff on the inside, all right? So now I'm very, very line-centric. And uh, yeah, so now we need, need to do, hey, Frankie J. Yeah, welcome back. I'm from Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, okay, good, Michelle, awesome. Now, let's, let's start to do our interior. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to breast. And now the light's coming from below. So remember, you always wanna assess where the light's coming from. Uh, that's one of the most important things. And when I look, pick this photo out, okay, defined and clear. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, this is light from below. A little non-traditional. But when you're scrambling on Saturday morning to do a live stream and you don't know what in God's name you want to draw, um, as long as the photo has some light and shade, that's what's most important. So let's get this little piece of fabric over here. And now the fabric has gravity effect in it and it's rolling around uh, the chest. Now that could be a little closer to her chin. So I'm gonna lift it up. Now, do I need to copy this exactly? No, I do not need to copy it exactly, but do I want to? Always, I always wanna get the likeness. It's just part of my practice, and um, it's something that I, I, I like to do. Um, just looking at some of the comments. Hi, sir, I'm from India, Jarkland. I probably said that wrong, I apologize. Uh, Joyce, good morning. Wawam, okay, good, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, the nose hairs thing. Okay, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. But I, I mean, as long as it's pretty clear on your end, like right now, I do not want to invest in a new camera. I have two really good cameras. Uh, but eventually, I'm going to have to I mean, yeah, so all right, getting back to this inside. So let's do a little bit of tone over here. Okay, I'm just doing a little line that separates. There's not much uh, shadow over here on the lower part. So let, let's dive in and let's start to add some shadow. So if we come over here to the deltoid area, let's start to just use 
a very simple up and down pencil stroke direction. Up and down pencil stroke direction. Let's just establish that the top plane of the chest, where can I get good photos like these? Um, well, Joyce, I just randomly found this photo on Pinterest. Okay, so I'm gonna just shade over here. So I got lucky, I got lucky. Okay, let's just do a um, little bit more. Um, did not, okay, so the top of her head is all in shadow. I, I don't have the shape correct. Good, let's kick this out now. Now we can start to press down a little bit harder. She has a dark background, so it's gonna look a little different here. And uh, so I think starting to draw with shape for me is, is really important. So I'm just looking at this angle of her hair, and then it's very dark, very dark over here. Her shoulder comes flowing down. Would you explain a little bit about, could you explain a little bit about drawing with dynamic pose, Matt? Maybe some tips. Um, yeah, so gosh, I wish I would have brought, I, I've got, a, maybe, let me work a little bit here, but dynamic drawing is just really uh, opposite C's for me now. Um, so it's just kind of thinking rhythm, rhythm lines. That's, I, I won't get into it right now because I'll make a mess of everything, but maybe if you stick with me towards the end, I'll, I'll get some of my sketches from a model that we use in class and everything is dynamic. Um, her poses are crazy. Okay, so now let's, um, yeah, the last time I talked about um, going to draw at, uh, how do you, I don't even know how you say that, Croquis Cafe. I got an email from the owner of Croquis Cafe to stop using their photos. And I'm like, I don't use your photos. I don't use them ever. Um, so uh, yeah, so whoever wants to use Croquis Cafe, <laughs> you use it. I'm not going to use them. Um, yeah, absolutely not. Uh, the the uh, I'm going to say this on, on a live stream, uh, and I don't really care. Um, but the owner of Croaky Cafe was a real um, D-I-C-K. Let's just say that. Uh, because they just sent me an email out of the blue accusing me of using their photos, which I've never done. And if you log into my website, drawingtutorialsonline.com, you'll see that I photographed all of my own models. I photographed my own models. I, I'm friends with so many of them from the School of Visual Arts. Um, the models from the School of Visual Arts, they come and they go. Um, so sometimes I'll make friends with them and then they just decide to stop modeling and I don't really see them that much anymore. So Croquis Cafe has some pretty good photos, but um, if you're gonna use those photos for anything other than like a sketch of your own that nobody's gonna see, um, you know, don't use them if you're gonna, uh, yeah, I should stop right here. Let me just stop rambling. I'm going to get myself into trouble. Um, okay, so let's let's put in a little bit of tone over here. And um, so that's our first go through. I don't hate it. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, Mike, Mike Matisse's force book is really cool. Uh, Mike Matisse joined from, uh, joined. He uh, graduated from the School of Visual Arts. I think he graduated the year I graduated or a year after or before. And I think his books are great. Um, I use his books in the classroom. Like I always show my students his books and I'm like, you got to go to the library or you got to buy this book. It's a great book. So I don't know Mike Matisse. He probably has no idea who the heck I am, but I think his force books are awesome if you want to do quick poses. And I'm, you know, so I, I would promote Mike Matisse all, all day, every day. I think he's, his stuff is great. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm not into negativity, and I, I don't want to be negative with anybody. It's just, for me, my experience, the email that I got with them, it, it just wasn't cool. You know, it wasn't cool at all. Um, but if you want to use their, their photos, their photos are great. Their photos are great. I'll, I'll say nice things about them. So uh, their photos are great. Their photos are great. And uh, I have no affiliation with them, nor do I, I want to. But I, if you want to use their photos, I think they're pretty awesome. Okay, so moving on as I put my, I'm putting my foot in my mouth here today too much. Uh, so let's just put in a little bit more fabric. So everything right now is very light. I think I just want to have a little fun today and not be so perfect with everything. Um, and let's just kind of get this hand. I, I really am dying to dive in to the white charcoal. Uh, now let's, let's bring this hair over a little bit to the right. 
let's bring that over. Before I dive into the white charcoal, I should press down a little bit harder in some areas and try to be more aggressive. Okay, and let's get the back of the hair. Awesome. And now let's get, I, so, so when you see this negative space over here that is dark, um, you could uh, not shade that. Because if you shade that, it's going to look uh, like, a, it's going to look weird. Because I, I didn't really do a background tone. Okay, so just looking at some of the comments, students, artists can use their photos for free. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, um, let me just clarify, and, and we'll put the Croquis Cafe thing to bed. I think their photos are awesome, and I, they have so many for you to choose from. And if you're a student, I would definitely use their photos, okay? Um, for somebody who is a professional, you have to pay to use their photos. If I was going to use one of their photos right now, I'd have to pay to use it because I'm using it on a live stream. Um, so yeah, they're, they're cool. Sent you a DM on Instagram. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Masiek. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. Just looking at some of these comments. So now we're at this point, um, and you want to lean back a little bit. Okay. So let's, let me resharpen and uh let let's kind of keep going here so now i, I want to refine my edge line so let's refine okay and let's come on down and i'm just this is my home base this is a little bit straighter i kind of kicked her hip out a little too much but that's okay um let's roll this up and let's bring this out to create a little bit more of a gesture so look more at the model than you look at your piece of paper and let's come on in and let's just establish that big toe. So I know that sounds so silly, but big toe establishment is <laughs> very important. So that big toe is under the eye. So just glance up and uh, just look like that. And I'm going to move that foot over to the left. So is this eraser any good? No, it's not. So let's just get a good eraser right over here and let's erase that out. Okay, good. So um, the front plane of the toe is catching light and the top plane of the toe is in shadow. So you have to establish that foot. That foot is underneath the head. There's a little bit of a surface plane shadow right over here. And um, yeah, so now we're going to come on down. So that's established. Let's just get now let's switch gears a little bit. Um, so let's do some angles. Okay, so now we can come over here. So this is an angle. Uh, this is an angle. This is an angle. We come on up and then we, oh, okay, cool. We pick it right up with this. Okay. And maybe one of these could be a little bit longer. This one could be a little bit longer. So I'm going back to angles now. People always ask me, you know, how you teach so many techniques, which one should I use? Well, my philosophy is, is that you use bits and pieces of each technique, um, depending on what you're drawing, but you can use multiple techniques in, in one drawing. And that's what I'm trying to do for you right here. Now I kind of butchered that at the bottom, but we'll, we'll um, kind of smudge it out. Now I'm going to do a little bit of background tone over here. I just want to have some fun. I want to do a little bit of background tone over here so we can kind of flow into that scribble. And um, so let's see, let me look at that. Look at that. She's actually longer. She's actually longer than what I have. She's taller. So I'm going to raise this and I'm going to thin this out a touch and that will give more of the appearance of length and uh yeah okay so let me just look at some comments i got the reference on pinterest okay awesome and now i'm gonna just go a little bit heavier with my line i'm gonna lower the foot okay and uh, let's wrap around Okay, let, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Now, I should suggest the face a little bit. Um, I want to do the charcoal. So she. So the first thing, when I start to draw a face, I should establish the jaw. Now, with the jawbone, it's pretty dark. You don't want to go too dark. I'm going to establish the chin. This is the chest. Let's just put some targets in right now. That chin needs to be lower. Let's put it here. Let's immediately erase out the first line. Okay, right there, good. Let's erase that out. Now let's, um, we have a sharp enough pencil, I guess. So let's come on in here a little bit of this angle, this angle. 
it's kind of flowy. And now let's just, I'm gonna do this with line. So this thing here is five eighths of an inch tall, that face. So we're not gonna be getting into mucho detail here today with that face. So I wanna just draw a shadow shape. Eyebrow, look at the distance of the eyebrow to the forehead where the hair is. Uh, that nose is kind of angled down like that, little weird. Um, bottom of the nose, uh, shadow over here, center of the lips. Let's just kind of get, she's got a little bit of a worried line and underplane of the uh, lid right over there and underplane of this other lid. Let's just kind of put that in. So tread lightly with that. Kind of looks a little primitive, but it it's small. So now what I want to do before I commit with um, going really dark, again, uh, today's live stream is just kind of off the cuff. I want to just have some fun here with the charcoal. So I'm going to do some simple vertical. Okay. Um, my charcoal is going over the pencil pretty good. Um, I'm going to just do, well, do I want to do simple vertical everywhere? Maybe not. So let's just kind of do side plane of the breast and come on down over here. We can do simple vertical on the stomach and maybe up over here. Okay, that leave that side plane fairly light. And now over here, we're gonna go fairly vertical. Just be a little bit of a monster with it. Okay, and let's come on down and come all the way down. It's gonna make some funky noise. And let's do this strong fabric. It's much lighter down below. And there's a little light hit in her face. I'm gonna save that. A little light hit in her hand. A little light. This needs to be much longer. I think I have her hand. Her hand's a little too long. But that's okay. Let's just kind of keep going so there's some light over here i'm being a little bit more of a monster and um yeah so let, let's leave it like that for now and we'll come back to the white charcoal we'll power it in a little bit more in a moment well okay cool um so now let's go back to pencil okay and let's just start to um be a little bit more aggressive so this rolls in so that's a nice little gesture line right over there okay she's got a little flower there on her hair um, this comes down and this is very dark in the background well uh, there's should be some white charcoal up top over there she has another flower over here I'm just gonna represent that as a circle um, does the tone paper you use and have any texture? Really, no. Not much at all. Okay, so um, let's come on down and get this shape of hair. Okay, so I want to just establish a little bit of a dark over here. And there's a severe angle. Her face right now is looking a little too primitive for me but we have to keep going and we have to move on. So shoulder, let's lower that shoulder. And um, let me resharpen. Okay, and let's just establish this crispness with that fabric. Crispness here, a little bit more of a solid shadow shape. And um, now this forearm is darker. I think I made her arm a little too thick. So let's just establish fabric from this circle. Gesture line. Just play around with it and we can move this arm. And I think um, I'm going to roll into her thumb and I'm going to lift up the thumb. So just, uh, we've done a live stream on fingers with that swan neck. So a little bit of swan neck with the thumb. And uh, I'm just going to, put an angle in for the bottom of the fingers. So hand, ulna, 
Okay, maybe something like that. We're just gonna keep it simple. This is all shadow. So, and uh, now with this other arm is almost non-existent. I'm gonna just uh, get a pencil, white charcoal, one second. And let's just kind of establish her thumb. Oh, you know what, let me erase out. So you can leave these lines in. They'll actually loosen the drawing up a little bit. I'm just gonna erase them out because I wanna get that thumb in. So with the hand, I'm not even gonna draw the hand. I'm just gonna establish thumb. Now, is that too low? Maybe. Let's, let's just kind of put it in. This will erase out. Um, thumb, pointer finger. A little light over here, so thumb. This is just the value on the statue. So that hand is fairly light. So let's come on in over here and just go against the grain. And um, let's go against the grain. This Now, we draw the figure first, and then we draw fabric, because you have to know what's going on underneath the fabric. And her uh, quads right over here are pushing that fabric out. Okay, little light down over here. Let's do the big toe catching light. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and just some stuff down at the bottom. Let's um, just have some fun with this. Nothing crazy. Look more at the statue than you look at your drawing. Okay, and uh, she does have some light hidden in her face. Let me just look at some of the comments. Um, I just typed in um, statue, female statue, the lure of female statue, the Met. Yeah, it's pretty smooth, this paper. Now, I think um, I'm just going to put in some. Let me erase out first. So I'll get my little mono zero eraser. Okay, and I'm going to um, just erase out. Erase out. Erase out. Let's erase out around her to make her appear smaller, smaller head. Technically, if you leave some of these lines in, the drawing will stay loose. If you erase them, uh, the drawing will kind of become a little too perfectly stiff. Let's just kind of brush all that out and let's throw in some light. So a little bit of light over here. So my philosophy with this white charcoal pencil is I do not use it in the shadows. I only like to use it where it's in the light. So a little bit over here, a little bit over here, and on the flower. I'm gonna go over the forehead just a little bit more over here. It's not on the, the there's no white charcoal there's a little bit right here uh, on the top of the head and a little bit here. Now, her face is catching light in the center. So I'm, I'm just going to kind of um, put some of this in just for fun. And her chin's catching a lot of light because light is coming from below. I'm being very painterly with this. Her neck is catching light. So the, the thing that I had mentioned last week on the live streams is uh, when I do these live streams, I'm much, much more painterly with the way that I draw. And that basically means that I'm drawing with tone. Okay. Because it's just faster. I, I, I feel as though I can uh, get more of a finished, complete drawing uh, with tone in a live stream in a, in roughly an hour uh, versus just using line. It, it's a little bit more powerful, uh, the tone than uh, anything else. So now that chin is popping too much. Let me resharpen. And how far along are we into this live? So we are about 40 minutes in, okay? So uh, let's come on in and just do a little bit more light. Now, I could have been a little less aggressive with the light. Okay, there's a little bit over here on her forehead. So now I'm being a little softer with the touch. Uh, there's light on her neck. SCM muscle over here. Good. Good, we're being not perfect. A Little bit more light on that arm. 
uh, definitely light over here and um, light pressure. Uh, there's a little light here. Let's put some more on this underplane of the breast. Just looking, just keep looking. So if you can watch my head, I know that's so much fun. Uh, but <laughs> just look at how I'm uh, looking at my drawing, looking at the statue, looking at my drawing, looking at the statue. Like uh, you want to look back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Don't just look at like look at my eyes now. Like I'm just staring at the drawing and I'm drawing and I'm not even looking at the statue. Uh, there's a time and a place for that, but in this very fast. Uh, pace live stream you definitely just want to look more at the statue than you do at your drawing if you want it to look more like the statue and less like a memory drawing okay so let's come on in here now and put a little bit more light here go against the grain uh, this could be much lighter but go against the grain uh, convex line over here going to this and then it folds around. So uh, not loving the arm. We got to give that a little bit more attention. And I'm going to just put a little bit in the background over here. I'm probably going to smudge that just um, to establish. And then over here, I'm going to establish a little bit of a dark. So I want to have a nice, powerful edge. So now I'm going to start to de develop, where's my grayscale? Are you kidding me? I've been using my grayscale all week in class. One second. So remember, every drawing that you do needs to have three values. It needs to have a dark, it needs to have a middle tone, and it needs to have a light. So right now when you look at it, I just put the first dark in. So now we want to start to establish a little bit of a dark, okay? and. Um, so we're going to come on in right over here and I'm going to do a little dark in my background and I'm going to, I don't want my background to be the center of attention. I just want to use a little bit of a frame over here and we're going to feather it away, feather it away. So now I'm looking down at the paper. Um, any advice on drawing clothes? AK Wilson. Well, clothes are really a, a bunch of cylinders. And they're little cylinders that represent the folds. I'm just going to kind of scribble over here. Uh, little cylinders that represent the folds on top of um, a big cylinder that represents the body. And the folds are created by um, the, what's going on underneath the fabric. And what is going on underneath the fabric is uh, a limb bending. So you're going to get a lot more folds at, say, a joint than you're going to get at... Um, say this fabric doesn't really have it has a lot of folds but they're very long and they're very very vertical okay because it's just the nature of the pose so i in in a nutshell uh, you have to really think cylindrical shapes uh when drawing fabric okay this arm is not good uh, so let's curve that in let me resharpen and let me get a little sip of water here. Uh, no, you can't put white charcoal over graphite. Thank you, Kath. Uh, all right, so I'm scribbling, scribbling, just trying to keep things loose. Uh, let's kind of have some fun here, just a little bit of scribbling. And uh, doing something different today. Just want to uh, be a little kind of loosey-goosey. So now let's come back. And uh, what can we do next? Oh, she's holding flowers. I didn't even see that. So we have a couple of flowers down over here. Do I need to put the flowers in? No. Uh, but somebody was talking about snow with uh, something lace had exploded uh, in the snow. I read that comment earlier. We can come on in now and be, see, when you use the white charcoal, if you go too white with it, it gets a little too overpowering. But at chance of risking it, let's just go a little bit more.
There's a little light catching that fabric. Press down a little bit harder over there. I'm not digging that. Uh, okay, so let's um, put a little bit more dark in. Uh, let's come over here and um, be a little bit more aggressive. Once again, I'm going to make this head smaller. I think I had it right the first time. Does this erase? Yeah, not bad. Okay. Um, let's, let's see. Um, uh, let's just do some stuff with this rose. A little bit of tone over here. Uh, we can lose an edge with the top of her hair, but obviously I'm not going to do that. But that would be a great place to lose an edge. Let's go darker on the top plane. She has a part in her hair. A little darker over here. There's a little flower on the other side. Then let's cruise this down. Let, let's just kind of make this up because it's blending into the dark and I, I can't even see it. So we can put a little bit of tone over here just to feather away. Feather away. Don't let that background tone be a distraction. Uh, let's get the neck in and establish. She has a very... long cool and let's keep going let's push down a little bit harder over here and uh now let's just kind of do chest in out let's make it complicated uh, so complicated edges are something that you want to incorporate into your artwork so complicated edge over here let's throw in that other deltoid there's fabric that's wrapping around the deltoid i, I didn't really get that so this is my first live stream in a while without Truffs in here. Truffs is off gallivanting. Like, she's not crying at my door. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so this is all wrong. But I'm just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. A little darker over here. Got to be careful I don't start to make this thing a stiff mess. And uh, into the... Well, I just heard my wife screaming at the dog. <laughs> uh, so I said mischief. Um, just suggest the eyes. No hard outlines. That would be terrible. Uh, let's notice how I'm not outlining the jaw, the jawbone 100%. Look at some comments, Nancy. Thank you, Kiki. It's my fr uh, daughter's friend's name, Kiki. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Nancy, that's funny. Um, okay, yeah, maybe the shoulders could be a little too... Uh, Sir, my man. Hi, Matt. Do you have any advice on how to handle this sort of graininess of graphite when you want smooth, clean shading? Yes. Um... A brush okay so if I wanted to take some graininess out of the mix I could just use um, where's my other brush that's a little stiffer so I'll, I'll show you three tricks here okay I don't have my other brush that's the better brush darn it um, okay uh, if you want less of an aggressive blend with the brush use a fan brush that will take some of the edge off of it if you want more of an aggressive blend with a brush, use a stiff bristle brush. These are not the stiff bristle brushes that I, uh, that I own, but this will push uh, the pencil into the paper. So if we do that a little bit over here, we get rid of some of that tooth. It creates a whole different look and feel. I kind of liked, I've grown to like the texture. I remember when I was younger, I hated all texture, but the texture, I, I don't know, I've grown to like it. And this just makes things a little bit more solid. And uh, you can also use this on the white charcoal. If this was a long drawing in white charcoal, I would do that. Okay. Uh, but it's not a long drawing. It's a quick sketch. So we're just going to kind of leave it as is. But that's my advice for that. Now, her head is, is it's just too tall. 
Uh, it's driving me a little cuckoo. So let's take a little bit off of her head. That didn't sound really too good. <laughs> that sounded violent. Um, let's. I've been watching this show on Netflix. It's so. I don't have a problem with violence when it's like fight scenes and all that. I don't have a problem with that. But some of the violence in the show, it's like so unnecessary to show it. It's called Outlander. And uh, it's cool. I'm getting a little sick of it because it's like there's. Um, they're doing really good and everything's everyone's happy and then all of a sudden there's drama and someone's like in a dungeon and I'm like oh god here we go um, and there could never be like extended periods of peace time like give them let the let the poor couple have peace for like just a couple of minutes before somebody gets kidnapped by the red army or something like that um, English army red coats I should say okay so just uh, lose some edges. Don't have everything so hard edged. I'm losing an edge over here with the hair. I'll look at some of these comments. Uh, it depends on the black charcoal. If it's vi soft vine charcoal, maybe. Oh, wow. That's cool, Sandy. Uh, what's your best authors that you would recommend for anatomy basics overall for beginners? So I, uh, Sarah Simblet. Uh, I lost that book. I think I left it at school. It might be at school. Um, so Sarah Simblet, S-I-M-B-L-E-T. Uh, there's a wonderful book. All of them are called Anatomy for Artists. Um, I, I like her book. Um, pretty good. Okay, let, let's try to resolve this area a little bit more. So let's go around that. So you see how I'm going around that? And the uh, color race goes on top of the... This is too low. My God. Um, the color race goes on top of um, the charcoal, no problem. So don't do a continuous line going across the clothing. Her shoulder, yeah, my measurements, it's a little screwy. It's okay. I'll uh, deal with it. I'll, my ego will deal with my wrong measurements. So you just have to practice doing gradations. So... Um, over here, I'm going to do a gradation, and I'm going to try not to show pencil strokes, even though I want the texture. So I, I don't like cross-hatching. Uh, instead, when I'm shading, if I'm going to shade, I like long uh, shading lines like this, and then I go on top of those long shading lines with some short form lines. Over here, I would shade like that, and then I would do some form lines. Okay, I don't like cross hatching. Uh, I like vertical shading. I did a little bit of that on this drawing. So if this whole face is in shadow, I'm gonna shade it vertically. Okay. Um, so if you, uh, how long are we into this piece? We're into this piece by 53 minutes. So if you like this drawing, if you like this live stream, I gotta do my YouTube thing here. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel because um, it'll notify you when I go live. I go live every Saturday, although this Saturday I was like, I almost didn't want to go live because I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh God, what am I going to draw? Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be really, really helpful. And uh, you can read more about and find out what my work looks like by clicking on the show more button below the video. You can go to my website. Um, MatthewRshambo.com. Uh, you can go to my Instagram. Check out what I do there. I really need to post something to Instagram. I've been extremely YouTube-centric, and I have not been using Instagram much at all, which is very bad, and I need to post more there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm a YouTube guy right now. I'm really into YouTube. Okay, now that black line's killing me. Let's draw with the eraser a little bit. Let's get rid of some of this heaviness. Uh, a few members didn't get the link for last Tuesday's Zoom. So you have to make sure that um, you didn't unsubscribe from my emails. Because some people join the website and they don't like emails. So uh, they unsubscribe and then they don't get the email. There was also a notification in my CRM software where I store everyone's emails where some emails did not go out and there it was a problem with the CRM hosting company um, and so that could have been it like like every time I log in to 
to send an email, I'm getting a message on the top uh, that some emails didn't go out. So it, it probably was that, but just make sure that you're subscribed and, and you're not unsubscribed. Uh, you can just, uh, Phoenix, send me an email and I'll look in, in your user profile if you unsubscribed. Okay, cool. Thank you, Aurora. I appreciate that. Uh, let's just um, push this a little bit more. Um, I'm sorry, Truffs is out of the room. She's, I don't know where she is. She's somewhere in the house. I think this was an issue for my email. Yeah. I'll post some suggestions on your website form. Yeah, thank you, all kinds of Melvin. Okay, I, I, it could have been that glitch. Okay, so I have all of the Zoom uh, lessons. They're all pre-scheduled out. And uh, I'll post it on a page on the website. I think I posted it on the podcast page. And I'll do it every Monday on the, on the, on the podcast page. I'll make sure. I'll, I'll do something within the members area. Oh, that's okay. I've had those days, Sandy. Don't sweat it. Okay, Phoenix, gotcha. Uh, I, I'll make a page on the website that has um, the link for all of the Zoom classes that I have scheduled. Okay, so now we're gonna. This so no so I always talk to everybody um, that uh, there should be no straight lines on your drawing, and I have a straight line here and I have a straight line there. So we want to turn that into an S curve around that forearm. We want to curve and make this edge of the forearm a little bit more complicated. This hand uh, needs work. Let's just focus in on the edge of the hand. I'm not going to get into fingers because that hand's um, really tiny and I don't want to deal with it uh, right now on this live stream. So I'm going to just suggest uh, maybe something like that. Cool. And uh, let's make her wrist a little bit thicker because she's no slouch. Uh, she looks really strong and powerful. So we're going to give her a, a strong, thick wrist. And that is all about size relationships. Now, you see what I did there? I outlined her hands. Don't do what I did there. So we want to break the outline because it's in the light. So that's just me getting a little too heavy-handed. That's, that's no good. Okay, let's shade. Rhythm. Rhythm. Uh, can you hold on a second? I need to go get some sheets of paper from my class that I have some uh, gesture drawings on. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So what is rhythm? Uh, these are just some pages from class. Now, this is a big page. It's never going to fit into the live stream. So I uh, did my first perspective class, how to draw a lamp in perspective. <laughs> OK, so rhythm is, if we get this figure here, um, so this was one of my drawings of the day. Uh, we had the model pose in two minutes. So uh, rhythm is this thing that um, is comes in, and then we pick up at the hip. Is that on the video? Yep. We pick up on the hip. That's rhythm. So we could start here at the hand. So it's the rhythm of the pose. And we always go back to that song. It's the rhythm of the night. Okay. So that's rhythm. Now, art, every artist sees rhythm differently. So some artists would see rhythm and the center line. So it would be the center line of the body, and then it would be that. Okay. Now, um, this drawing here has a ton of, oh, John Fem, Femiani. My mother would be really pissed at me, John, if I didn't say your name right. She's from Italy. And uh, thank you so much, John. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, that was extremely kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, if there's anything that I can help you with, please just send me an email. Um, you know my email. You can go to MatthewRchambeau.com. 
send me an email uh, via the link there, or you can just, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. Anything you need help with, just let me know. Uh, so let me pick one that's a little bit more rhythmic. Okay. This one's rhythmic. I love this pose. This model's uh, crazy gal, crazy girl. So rhythm is um, back, chest, into the butt, quads, wrap around with a candy cane stripe, lower leg, quads, inside of the knee, outside of the lower leg, bottom of the foot. That's rhythm. Okay, now you could also start at the head. So face, back, chest, butt, quads, lower leg, foot. That's rhythm. Okay, now uh, this is rhythm. So we're scribbling letter C, opposite C, letter C, opposite C, letter C, opposite C, bottom of the foot. Why do we do that? Because the body is made up of ovals. Okay. And uh, now this drawing that I'm going to show you on the left has no rhythm whatsoever. So that's just an exercise in the line that separates the light from the dark. Now, if I was going to find rhythm on this pose, okay, where would it be? So I wish I had a colored pencil. That would be kind of fun. See if I can draw with a color. Let me try to be a little creative here. Uh, let's not say we did. I'm going to just you know, do this. So rhythm could be here. All the way down like that. That's long gesture. That's long rhythm. This is short rhythm, opposite C's. This is long rhythm. Okay. So we could also, we could do that. Now, it, here's the thing with rhythm. Rhythm is a, yeah, that's so funny. Rhythm is this thing. Hey, Rod, Rodin or Rodin. Um, rhythm is this thing that every artist sees it differently. Some artists see it um, some artists can see, oh, okay, well, I see the rhythm with the center line of the body into the leg. Um, some artists see just one. I like to do the edge, so I would just focus in on the edge here, and that's how I see the rhythm, okay? And uh, let me see. Let me just kind of, yeah, so that, that's, a, that's, this is rhythm, that pose right there. This is stiff. This is a whole different thing. Uh, just to kind of show you some of the things I was teaching this week. Uh, yesterday we were doing um, composition and with the model, and uh, we were talking about rhythm with a background tone. So rhythm with a background tone of value that goes behind the model. So a rhythm like that. Uh, this rhythm for background tone was going like that. Rhythm for the background tone was going like that behind the model. So we were doing some compositional things, and it was kind of fun. Yeah, a little bit more uh, composition here, okay? Uh, just kind of sketching things out. And uh, let me just see what else I have here very quickly. Okay, so this um, rhythm. Uh, this one, I don't really see rhythm. Instead, I see this torso peanut shape. So torso peanut shape is this. So I wouldn't draw that pose with a rhythm. You could, but I didn't. So now we just use that center line. One could argue this is short rhythm from knee to knee. One could argue this is rhythm from arm to arm. Okay, I hope I answered your question. Um, yeah, this is the better drawing of the lamp in perspective. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so let's finish this thing off. And uh, I just ran into my pencil. Seriously, I just kind of chiseled it down. Just looking at some. Um... Yeah, Freddie Legrand. I got to play that in the background next time we do this. No, it's not supposed to be horizontal. The video for the model is supposed to be vertical ace. Was she up? Was she sideways? DeBarge, I know that, Sandy. Oh, God. <laughs> Panama, welcome. Good job, elbow cough. Love it.
All right, I'm gonna work on this just for a little while longer. And uh, that was that was fun with the whole rhythm thing. You got it. Uh, again, rhythm is different for every artist. Some artists, uh, yeah, from the Philippines. Wow. Thank you, Irwin. I I I did a coaching session. Uh, I don't do coaching really that much anymore. Um, can we do the lamp in perspective next time? Yeah, that would be fun. I almost was gonna do the lamp in perspective uh, this week. We'll do it. Maybe we'll do it next week. So next week, um, this first week of class was one point perspective, and next week we're gonna do two point perspective. Really basic, but we. We crawl in perspective class in the first three weeks, and then we start to walk, and then we start to run. Okay, so it's kind of um, starting slow. Um, so, uh, N. Sabah Nur, how can I draw? Well, this is from Farin. How can I draw better? In November, I went to Berlin to take an administration test and watch your live stream on the train. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow, uh, that is awesome. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, what gets me is how do I know what to leave out of the drawing? How do I determine what to simplify or even leave out when to focus? Okay, so I'll give you the simple, simple answer. For me personally, things that are going into the background, like this over here is going into the background, I'm not going to add details there. Um, in the shadow, I'm going to keep the shadow simple. I'm going to make the detail more where the light meets the shadow, more in the light. So if you just do those two things, kind of keep your shadows uh, simple shapes and then keep things that go into the background simple shapes, that will totally help you. Yesterday, I was informed that I can study master art therapy. It wouldn't have been possible without your videos. Farron, I really do appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Um, you know, for many, many years, I didn't really post anything to YouTube. Uh, I kept posting to Facebook, and I, I don't really like Facebook. Uh, so I like, I like YouTube. Like, I shouldn't even be posting to Facebook because I should just be posting to YouTube because it's more of a video outlet. Uh, let's put in some... Um, and I just, I love watching videos on YouTube. It's my favorite place. I don't like going to Facebook. It's just not my favorite place. Um, YouTube is so much better for me. So now let's, let's, let's do rhythm. Okay, let's feather this out. So rhythm out. Scribble away. We don't want that to be the cornerstone of the drawing. And now we're going to just kind of circle in. I know that you guys can barely even see that. I'm just going to kind of have some fun here with texture. Scribble in now. Why is this not distracting from the drawing? Because it's not contrasty. It's all low contrast. Now I could put more detail in the pose, no doubt about it. Let's try to do that right now. I'm gonna just focus in on the edge. So I'm um, just looking at. Hey Sky, how are you? The lamp is a good idea. Okay, cool. Um, now let's add some convexes. So convex roll in a little shadow shape over here i want to refine this edge make it darker i'm going to go a little bit more stylized right now there is a convex here a convex here okay i'm being really loose i'm not being perfect A couple of convexes over here. And this is all bunched up, so I should pay a little closer attention to some fabric bunched up lines here. A little bit more shadow. And I think we're going to be done soon here. Curve around, curve around with form lines. That's a little choppy right there. So I'm going to take, I, I'm not a big fan of the blend in stump and uh, I lost my blend in stump. That really stinks. I wanted to use it, uh, but I went a little too overboard with those form lines. So I just want to knock them down. Get rid of that straight line. Just keep looking. So this, this is all wrong. 
see if I can erase that. This would be a good test. I keep misplacing my materials. Yeah, you could put a dark background in. Um, I wouldn't bore you with that because it would just take me forever. And we are almost done here with this. This pencil keeps breaking on me. I'm being a little bit of a brute. So we could keep going. I can be working on this forever. Um, let's just push it a little bit more. Uh, a couple of form lines. A couple of fold fabric lines. Keeping it loose over there. And um, I think she's almost done. Let's go a little darker here. Just frame out that edge. Yeah, simple pencil and paper. That's what I'm all about right now with my life. I like to just sit down and draw. And uh, I mean, I'm on the computer 24 hours a day with critiquing and classes. And I draw in Photoshop sometimes. One day I'm going to, I just got to do a drawing in Photoshop on the live stream because it's the same type of thing. I mean, I could do that right now for you. I can just switch and, and start to draw, but it would just take me a while. Maybe we'll do that another day. I don't consider myself a digital artist, but I draw in Photoshop almost every single day because I draw on other people's artwork when I'm doing critiques. So uh, once again, as we start to close out this live stream, if you want to learn more about me, just click on the show more in the um, right below the show more link. And uh, I have my websites there. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if, if this was valuable for you and you got some information. Um, absolutely. So just I'm going to leave it there. I think I'm going to leave it there. So that's the thing. If I wanted to push this, then I'd have to commit and say, okay, now I'm going to work on this for another hour. Okay. Um, so the tools that I use are in the show more part right underneath this video. Just click on that. Yep. Yeah. The graphite thing just doesn't work. You got it. Uh, Masiak, thank you so much. So I think we're going to call her done. Um, that was kind of fun. And uh, yeah, so I hope you, you enjoyed this. And I enjoyed working on it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy working on this today. But I, I had fun. Let's, it was kind of cool. We can kind of feather out, be a little bit more aggressive over here. Uh, just be a little bit more artsy. And uh, this would be my rhythm. Uh, let's just do rhythm. Let's just have fun and just kind of feather it out of the way. Be a little bit more scratchy down there at the bottom. And uh, then what we can do is we could, if we wanted to ruin the drawing or just add more rhythm. You can tell I, I'm having fun because I'm not stopping. <laughs> Uh, that would be kind of interesting to do something like that, too. Thank you for joining, um, Michelle Magdalena. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you for joining. Erwin, thank you. Let me scroll back up. Sorabai, thank you. Uh, Masiak, thank you once again. Uh, Phoenix, I appreciate you joining. Moises, uh, I appreciate you joining. I got to get a good studio like yours, Moises. Just, I'll see you on Tuesday on the Zoom class. Uh, Ellie, I appreciate you joining. Dion, uh, thank you so much. Calling her done. Yeah, that's cool. We can spell it. Um, maybe we'll come up with a better spelling, something creative. Nicole, thank you. Sky, uh, can we do a studio store? No, you can't. <laughs> uh, my studio is a mess. Um, so there's this is my studio tour here. Okay, so if I just um, move that over, yeah, that's my studio tour. <laughs> um, so yeah, that side of my studio is a mess. Okay, uh, and I, I like mess. Aura, or, thank you so much for joining. Miss, Misty Cult. Let me move a little closer to the microphone here. Barbara, uh, 
Barbara from Poland, I appreciate you taking the time to join. Awesome. Wawan, her, you're testing my English language here. My pronunciation is terrible, Wawan, but thank you for joining. Sandy, awesome. Tuesday, yes. Truffs is downstairs raising hell. Dennis, I appreciate you joining. Uh, Kelly Hatfield. Kelly, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, totally. Uh, Daniel, you got it. Jab Jabro78, cool. Cat, appreciate you from that beautiful Arizona, state of Arizona. Michelle Lacanto, yeah, hopefully you can make it. That would be really good. Sir, my man, David Wade. Vandana, Nancy, you got it. Dana, thanks, Dana. And thanks for giving me the heads up about the TV. I'm glad that it's um, it's clear. Uh, Sarabai, appreciate that. David, Alls, Brooke, appreciate you joining. Tuesday, thanks, Marie. Kiki, Isadora, oh, that's a cool name. G. Wirt, 10, or Wirtwen. Frankie J, stay safe. Yarrow Slaw. 9W120, Cat, Sky. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you watching me. God, look at all these comments. I'm not going fast enough. I'll see you guys, all right? I'll see you next Saturday. I'll try to plan something. Well, the lamp is going to be kind of dry. Beth B, Joyce, Kelly. Appreciate that. See you guys. Have a good, have a good week. Take care. Get out there and draw. Yeah, it's a Saturday thing, no doubt. So join me again. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notifications bell, and uh, you'll get notified when I go live. All right, cool.